Ron, what's your thoughts about that? Great game. Um, there's obviously a big party planned uh, tonight, and I thought the game had a lot in it. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of ebb and flow, and a lot of momentum shifts, and uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say right now. Are you pleased with the way the players took in from 12 points behind? Yeah, certainly. We uh, I thought we played played the right way. Uh, we played with intent to uh, to obviously move the ball and to create some opportunities from our own end. Um, but we also competed. You know, I would say on par with the team that's led the league in competing for a period of time, I would say we, you know, we matched them on that today, which was very pleasing. Um, you know, it's a tough gig what they've had to, to endure, um, going to Australia and, and doing all that and representing the competition so well. Uh, to come back and have to play at Cass and then back it up five days later is a tough ask, but you know, I thought we we did enough to win, and at no stage today did I think we were going to lose. Um, yeah, I thought I thought we were we were right in there. How big a moment was that missed penalty, and then getting the ball back from the restart? I can't even remember what the score was at that point in time, but um, you know that happens. He doesn't miss many important goals. Um, he's he's won them plenty of games too, so that's that's just the nature of sport sometimes. And you only got three minutes from Cruz Lehman tonight. How is he? Uh, he's, yeah, he's got a sore foot. So he had a, he had a fracture uh, in his foot last year. And it's, the soreness is in a similar spot. So we'll just have to wait and see what the, the x-ray or the other imaging says. How late did you lose Sam Lissone today? Uh, there's been quite a few moving parts in the background uh, the last couple of days. Uh, Sam, Sam got knocked around with, with illness a couple of days this week and he was sort of coming good today um, but we, we decided to go with people that had the most, likely had the most energy um, today regardless of uh, resume. And finally from me, uh, Dono, 200th game for Dono today. Yeah, what a, what a competitor and teammate person that guy is and player obviously. Um, Moved himself down as a young kid from Cumbria, chasing the dream, and you know, been through a lot of hardships and and some injuries, um, some family tragedy as well. But that guy, he he'd give everything. He'd donate donate an organ for his teammates like that guy. He, he just couldn't couldn't ask for a better teammate or person that would just do anything he could for the team. And um, he always enjoys leading the song, but he. He probably enjoyed leading it a little bit more to celebrate that 200th Super League game. How far have you come in for tonight as a team? From the Warrington game to that, it's almost like top to bottom, isn't it? They knock off the world champs. It's a, it's a difficult question because I, I find, you know, I, I'm not surprised that we were able to, you know, to really push them and eventually find the, the big play to win. I'm, I'm not surprised. I've got a lot of belief, and I think it's it's in our team. Um, but you have to bring it out, and yeah, we haven't brought it out so far. Um, and today wasn't without blemish. You know, we certainly haven't played a perfect game, but we we played hard, and we we kept in it, and we we kept having it having a go at creating opportunities from our own half when we're down by 12 and you know no one went into their shell at any point it was it's a real mood lifter isn't it just a big sense psychologically for the squad it must be knowing how hard they are to beat they're very hard to beat they've been very hard to beat for a long time um through a couple of different coaches and you know you can also already see um you know, some new twists and, and some additions to how they're going to play their game this year. And, um, yeah, I, I think players will take something out of that for sure. It'll remind our, our supporter base um, that, that we, we still can play um, despite two, two results, you know. Um, how good, you know, the fans that were, that were here tonight, and I'm sure there's a few 
screaming through the TV at home, you know, like there's, um, there's a lot of belief in that dressing room and, and a couple of results didn't change that. Um, so that'll just reinforce it maybe tonight. Are you always confident Blake would nail that prop goal at the day? Yeah, he's one of those blokes that he can kick him from wherever, whenever, you know, at training and um, he, he's kicked, I don't know, I feel like he's come up with a lot of big plays in his career at various moments. I couldn't name another field goal off the top of my head, but I, you know, I thought he'd, he'd, if, you know, both him and Caesar, if they got a clean shot at it, you know, I'd, I'd back him in to, to kick it. And uh, fortunately he did. Really, just on Sam Walters, uh, came off the bench and got in, threw himself about, how impressed were you with him tonight? Yeah, he's been waiting his turn. He, he, um, he suffered, well not suffered, but he had a couple of niggles and, Bit of illness that sort of allowed the others to get the jump on him and get selected in the first uh, first couple of rounds. But yeah, he, he waited his turn and he he did well tonight. He he made a difference. Um, he's got plenty he's working on, but he there's a lot of belief in in you know the coaching staff have a lot of belief in Sam and, and his teammates do as well. And it was great to see him come up with a few big plays. What did you make of that decision to give the penalty against Wellsby when Saints thought that they should get the penalty for the Walters tackle? What was your perception of it? I'm told last year that clubs were warned if anyone ran in to escalate a situation that there'd be action taken. And sometimes that happens and tonight was one of those times. Any further questions? When, the, when Mark Percival try was given, did you fear that the ref might award an eight point try? Maybe, especially given the two that were given in the Warrington Soccer game yesterday. Was that the one where he was checking to see if someone was taken out or yeah, the grounding? Started, started, yeah, stayed off as if Matali was taken out. Oh, he couldn't give an eight point try there. He could have given a penalty try had he not grounded it. That's what I think he was looking for. If, if he hadn't grounded it, yeah. it would have been no try and possibly a, a penalty try, I think. Most of the, the blokes chasing those kicks. Um, we've had a couple in the preseason games as well. Any, any thought of contact and they're going down, um, a bit like another sport. But... Do you think you've provided a bit of a blueprint to the teams in the league in terms of how to beat Saints, in terms of the off-the-cuff width that you played with an attack? No. <laughs> um, other teams don't play like that. Uh, you know, Salford chance, well, fans call it chance in their arm, or, um, but Salford moved the ball in their own end and, and stretch teams regularly. Um, not too many others do regularly. They might start now. It's, it's dangerous because they move up fast and they keep coming. And even when you think you got them, they keep scrambling, um, but going straight through the middle of them is not overly effective either. Um, so you've got to have a mix of both. And I thought we actually had a good blend of that. We had some good, straight, hard, direct carries that got us some momentum at times as well, um, as well as moving the ball and as well as turning it back under. And ideally when we're playing well, we'll see a blend of all of that type of footy rather than you know, trying to go around them, which we actually weren't trying to go around them tonight.